What's up, people? Let's get straight into it. 25th of October, Monte Carlo, Monaco. Four championships will be on the line. Now, before I say anything, I'll just tell you the featured fighters is Martin Murray, Hecky Butler, Reno Liebenberg, and LDA Alvarez. Uh, these are the featured fighters on the nights. This is the reason why you must tune in and watch this fight. Anyway, so 25th of October, don't forget that date. Let me quickly have a run through of all the the fights and my predictions on the fights as well. So, uh, first fight you of the evening will be well if they have, if they don't add another fight that is I'm just I'm just uh, going straight to the televised fights is uh, Randy Cabellero versus Stuart Hall. Now Randy Cabellero is an undefeated fighter. He's 21 and 0. He's 23 years old, and he's in a fight uh, Stuart Hall, who's 34 years old, and also. His record is not impressive. It's 16 and 3. This is probably Stuart Hall's last opportunity to get a shot at a title. They're fighting for the v vacant IBF bantamweight title. So I'm just going to make a quick prediction on this one because I don't know too much about these boxes. They're both um, not exactly the most televised fighters. So I, I, I'd probably go for Randy Cabellero just based on his resume. And he's he hasn't beaten mugs, you know, and he's not afraid to travel. So. The bantamweight, I'd give it to Randy Caballero if I had to pick on resume alone. Uh, next fight of the evening would be Reno Liebenberg versus Eladia Alvarez. Now, for those who do not know both fighters, it is actually a massive fight. Because they are def uh, Reno Liebenberg is defending the WBC Silverlight heavyweight title. And this will be his first defense of the title after defeating Russia's Dennis Grushchev. Now, Reno Liebenberg is an undefeated fighter, 16-0. Versus Eladier Alvarez, who is 15 and 0. Now Alvarez is more of a boxer, and uh, Reyna Liebenberg is more of a fighter. So this is going to be a big fight. And if it is to be believed, the winner of this fight fights Adonis Stevenson. So that's why you got to keep your eyes open, according to Reyna Liebenberg's Twitter. He has to go through Alvarez and to to fight Adonis Stevenson, which would be a great fight. Um, so as I said, both fighters are undefeated. Um, 1-0 must go. <laughs> so, yeah, a uh, quick prediction on the fight. Uh, Going to go for Reino Liebenberg, simply because he's the man of the moment, and nothing looks like it's really going to stop him at this at this moment. You know, he's on a roll. He had three first-round knockouts before going to a unanimous decision, a decision against uh, Dennis Khrushchev. And, yeah, no, he's proven that he can do it all. So expect some fireworks in this fight. So, as I said, Reino Liebenberg to win this one in my eyes. Then next you got Hecky Butler taking on Jean, Zhao Zhang, a 24 and 5 uh, man from China, and uh, they can, he's going to be defend. Hecky will be defending his WBA and IBO world minimum weight title. Now Hecky Butler, ideally we want to see him against another champion to un as a unification fight, but we'll accept this fight here. You know, as an audience, we, we will accept it, and we'll we'll just say this is a, just another mandatory challenger that has to come along before he can finally get his unification fight against another champion in the division all running scared at the moment but that's the that that is what it is anyway quick prediction on that fight uh not getting too uh too much into it but it's it's either gonna be a unanimous decision or a knockout to hecky butler and miles i can't see how the man from china can possibly win this fight based on what i've seen uh, videos on both fighters, so I'm gonna go for Hecky Butler on that fight. And then the main event of the evening, Martin Murray from England, fantastic boxer as well, signed with Golden Gloves promotion, top top African promoter, and we are looking, you know, it looks like uh, looks like he's gonna be up for a world title shot soon, hopefully. Um, you know, just seeing. His recent opponents, they haven't been up to scratch. And, you know, Martin Murray's been very vocal on on he wanted to fight Koto and that sort of thing, but that didn't happen. Obviously, uh, Koto is a, um, is a businessman and he has his own things. But, yeah, this, he'll be defending his WBC middleweight title, sorry, against the opponent, uh, Domenico Spada from Italy. Uh, he also doesn't have a fantastic record, 39 wins, uh, five losses, but he's boxed 256 rounds, which is impressive. 
So that that's probably going to be where 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 it's a hard fight for Murray is the experience. And anyway, I, his his first defense of his WBC silver title should be a good fight. I urge everyone to watch this bill. There's so much in this in this bill. Martin Murray can go on to get a nice a nice fight against someone maybe. Uh, Hecky Butler hopefully gets a unification fight after he wins. Uh, Rainer Liebenberg can go on and fight Adonis Stevenson. And the IBF bantamweight title on the line. That's also another cracking fight. Uh, whoever wins that um, rises to prominence because the IBF is a massive organizational title. So yeah, uh, I urge everyone to, to watch this fight and it's going to be an absolutely cracking show. Anyway, thanks for listening to me. As always, cheers.